with you. I'm going to be singing this song this morning, and I'm going to sing it with honor and glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that you're all doing well. I pray for you all. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can look it up in your Bible. For sin will not rule over you because you are not under the law, but under grace. Of course, we know that when Jesus Christ came, he came for us to die on the cross for us sinners so that we may be saved. And after he came, the law that was in the Old Testament was put not to the side, but it was said to, we, could, we couldn't live by that anymore. 
Nobody could. So that's why Jesus said, now I bring you my grace. My grace is sufficient. Doesn't mean that we don't follow God's law, his word, because we should try and do the best we can. But it's no longer that we have to live by the law. And I'd like to read for you now, Romans 3, 8. Some people say, and why not say just as some people slanderously claim? You can come. Let me, let me rephrase that. And why not say, just as some people slanderously claim, let us do evil so that good can come. Their condemnation is deserved. In other words, they say, well, I'm saved now, so I can go ahead and party. I can drink. I can smoke. I can cuss. I can be hateful. I can just go on living how I've been living because, after all, I'm, I'm saved by grace. That doesn't make sense, brothers and sisters, if you think about it. I'd like to read another scripture for you this morning. And this one says, it's in Hebrews 6, and it starts in verse 4. For it is impossible to renew to repentance those who were once enlightened, who tasted the heavenly gift, became companions with the Holy Spirit, tasted God's good word and the powers of the coming age, and who have fallen away because to their own harm they are re-crucifying the Son of God and holding him up to contempt. In other words, brothers and sisters, what that is saying is that when we come to Christ and we want to live our life right, but temptation comes and we give into it and we start living like the prodigal son out in the world, doing the worldly things, we are re-crucifying Jesus Christ all over again. Why are we going to do that? Why are we going to say it's okay to sin because I live by grace? Jesus Christ wants us to live our life for him. He wants us to love him. He wants us to worship him. He wants us to honor his Father, God in heaven. And that's why he came as a man to feel what we feel. He was tempted, but he didn't give in to temptation. We give in to our temptations. And that's when we have to say, Lord, help us. Help us to be strong so that we don't give in because we know where that temptation is coming from. It's not coming from God. And every time we think we can do whatever we want because we're saved by grace, let's not fool ourselves. Let's not fool ourselves, brothers and sisters. Let's live our life for the Lord. Everything that is happening right now in this world, this plague, this horrible plague that is happening, people dying, loved ones are dying, and a lot of them probably never came to know Christ as their Savior. Let's go out and talk to them. Let's talk to the people. Let's tell them about Jesus and how much he loves them. We need to do the Great Commission. And what was that? To go out to the whole world and tell them about Jesus Christ and what he did for us. He loves us. He wants us to live our life right. He doesn't want us to have to go through consequences. Believe me, you don't want to go through the consequences. They're hard, they're rough, they're so tough. Why go through them? Why not just love Jesus and serve him and worship him and praise him? I just wanted to bring you this word this morning and know that Jesus loves you and he's going to heal our land because there's so many Christians praying right now that our land is going to be healed, that this racism is going to be gone and that we're going to love each other. We all have the same color blood. We have to love one another. God created us all and he loves us all. He loves the homeless. He loves them just as much as he loves us. And right now we can't help them. But we will start helping them again soon. So let's pray one another for this world, our nation, our country, our president. So that there'll be love and peace. And there'll be no more hate. And that we'll all serve our Lord Jesus Christ 
and do the best we can to live for him. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I love you, and I pray for you always. So let us go into the word of prayer right now. Everyone close your eyes. Precious Jesus, I ask you this morning to be with each and every one of us. Those that are sick, my Lord, I ask you to reach down from your heaven right now and touch their body from their head to their toes. Heal them from inside and out, my God. There's a lot of people hurting and sick right now. Oh my God, I ask you to just touch them. Bring your son like he used to walk on this earth and touch and heal. Let him come and touch and heal this morning, my God. Be with those, dear God, that are sick and, and with this virus, my God, and, and give them the strength to fight it and get over it, Father. And let this virus be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our land heal now, my God. Take away all the racism and the hate, my God, and let everyone love one another. Oh, my precious God, you're so wonderful. And we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to come and be our Savior. Thank you, Father. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. I just want to let you know and remind you that we are praying for you. Uh, you are in our hearts. You are in our, our prayers. And uh, so don't think that you're by yourself. We're always praying for you. And so uh, the number's in the screen. And if you want to call for prayer, if you have a question regarding salvation, feel free to call us. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and if you have a question. So I just want to leave you without thought that, uh, that we're going to, we're going to conti continue praying for you. Okay, God keep you uh, safe. And, uh, and and keep you uh, at your home and, and safely and wherever you go, your travel, keep you safely and wherever you live, uh, the Lord keep you safely, not just you, but your family. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. God bless you.